Hi there. Do you want to get free trading cards in Steam? Do you want to get free trading cards in Steam while you're not even in the game? Well then say no more. Because we have a new program. I welcome you to Steam Idol Master. So as you can see, uh, I am doing a new tutorial and it is going to be on this program called Steam Idol Master. And uh, go to head your way to www.steamidolmaster.com. I'll put the link in the description. So you'll get to decide, depending on what time you're doing this, uh, like what month or something, they might like change the like how it looks the GUI and so this might be somewhere else but just find your way to here and there should be download button under it and yeah and so the description says get your steam trading cards the easy way with idol master idol master is the easy and effective way to unlock all your available steam trading cards even from games you don't have installed Idol Master will simulate you being in-game on Steam for each game in your library with available trading card shops and will automatically move from game to game when each is finished. Idol Master is easy to install and easy to configure. So uh, if you guys don't know, uh, trading cards are uh, an element to the Steam, the Steam market, Steam community. So as you get more of these cards, uh, you can turn them into gems or sell them on the market. So there was a value but not too much. And so a lot of people use these to gain more levels on Steam, which is just you know, for bragging rights. And so, um, yeah. And so the the way to get Steam trading cards normally is you play the game and they award you pretty randomly, depending on some achievements you get or just randomly when you start playing. And uh, Steam will recognize that you've been playing this game for a while, and then they'll be like, okay, we'll drop a card on you, and that's how it is. But, some people uh, have trading card drops and they can never get them, so this is how you do it the uh, fairly legal way, and so, uh, as I said, make your way to steamidolmaster.com, and uh, just click download now. You know, if the thing will download, yeah, there we go. Uh, it should pop up in the zip folder, depending on if you have WinRAR, um, the file and zipper, or anything. It might open in that, and that's totally fine. You'll just have to go into the file, and then uh, just click on the one that has .exe. Like, I think I can show you once it's done downloading. Space-wise, uh, the folder is... Uh, it's not too big. It's about 1,300 uh, kilobytes. Folder, yeah, bunch of crap. Uh, so double click on it, and there should be. Uh, sorry about that, guys. We had a little bit of an error, so um, I had a little bit of difficulty seeing, but I cleared it all right now. I can show you guys. So once you get to this, uh, your downloads folder, you get into Idol Master, the zip folder. Uh, you're gonna have all these. You're gonna have a folder and a bunch of like. Um, different, I don't even know what this is, DLL, whatever, just ignore those, all the extensions. You're going to want to double click on Idle Master, and if it's going to ask, ask you to extract all, click extract all, because if you run, there will be an error where in the program, uh, it doesn't like, it doesn't actually work, the program doesn't work. So just extract all for uh, sake of you wait, not wasting time, and... Once you do that, you'll get this. Uh, you'll basically get the same identical thing, except one of them will be, well, two of them will have different icons. Double click on this one. They might give you an error. Oh, okay. Well, sometimes uh, when you when you click on it, it'll give you an error. And just keep just keep clicking on it and waiting for it, and it'll should pop up. So now it'll say Steam is running, and you're gonna want to sign in. So if you didn't extract. Over here, this would just have it wouldn't have anything here, and it'll say Steam's not running, and you couldn't do anything. Because in order for it to work, you have to have these two checked. So it says Idle Master is not connected to Steam. So let's sign in real quick. 
you know, if it'll load. Any day now. Oh, okay. Well, apparently I didn't click it. Okay. Put in for your, put in your information. For the sake of this, I'm I don't want to have to keep signing in every time I go in, so I'm just gonna do that. I remember be on this computer. And then go. Put in my authenticator. Uh, there should be an extra window. Oops. Uh, it'll say quickly that our master is like trying to connect to Steam, and then after that, it'll be done. And this is the part where I'm gonna have the tutorial is gonna have to slow down a little bit. So, so basically, once you've gotten to this point and both of these are checked. Uh, you're just gonna try to match up to this so as long as it's all fine it should be good so it should say this amount of card drops remaining and this amount of games to left to like idle and when you're in game or sorry when you're idling your uh, some of your games if you click on your sorry view friends list here it'll show that you are um, It'll show that you're in that game. So even if you have not downloaded it, like I've gotten all my cards, like I've gotten cards from Outlast, like as you can see, I haven't even installed it. But wait, I think I sold them. <laughs> wait a minute. Give me a second. Yeah, but like I still got cards for it. And so just goes to show that this works. Like it's not a virus or anything. Like I wouldn't do anything to like I wouldn't do anything to harm the situation. Like, I've used it. I've gotten all this stuff. And so, uh, your game will be here. And it'll show that idling. And then, at the bottom, there should be a next check. And that's the amount of... Uh, that's every time it refreshes. So that it can get a new card. And, yeah. And it'll just place the cards in your inventory once you've gotten them. And that's about there is to it. See you guys in the next video.